Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Welcome back to the dojo, I mean channel. Today, we'll go into the philosophies of two legendary karate masters, Funakoshi Gichin and Miyagi Chojun, and how their teachings have shaped modern karate. We'll be breaking down our exploration into five main topics. So let's not waste any more time and dive right in. Funakoshi, often hailed as the father of modern karate, and Miyagi, the creative mastermind behind Goju Ryu, were like those wise old men in martial arts movies that always had a thing or two to say about enjoying the ride. They both knew that life's a roller coaster, and fixating solely on the destination would only leave you feeling dizzy and confused. These legendary senseis were all about savoring the journey, taking in the scenery, and maybe even stopping for some cotton candy along the way. Well, Maybe not the cotton candy, but you get the idea. They emphasized that being a martial artist wasn't just about reaching the peak of karate perfection, but about embracing lifelong learning, polishing those techniques and constantly evolving. So like a karate kid waxing on and off, or a dedicated martial artist breaking boards in their sleep, Funakoshi and Miyagi urged their students to focus on the process, the day-to-day -day grind, and the incremental improvements that would eventually lead to their growth as true martial artists. Remember, fellow karate enthusiasts, it's not just about the black belt, it's about the colorful journey and the countless bruises you'll encounter along the way. Have you ever spent hours perfecting your kata only to forget the grocery list your partner gave you? No, just me. Moving on. Both masters, Funakoshi and Miyagi, were like the martial arts versions of a balanced breakfast. They believed in the unity of mind, body and spirit. In karate, you couldn't have one without the others. Imagine performing a kata in slow motion underwater. Sure, it looks cool, but it doesn't quite prepare you for the real self-defense situations. Funakoshi, the ever philosophical karate guru, emphasized the harmony of those elements. His quote, the mind and technique become one in true karate, I'm sure he must have said that, is actually like a catchy slogan on a dojo's wall that reminds you to keep your head in the game while you're busy perfecting those killer moves. Meanwhile, Miyagi, the yin to Funakoshi's yang, put the spotlight on the importance of softness and hardness, or ju and go, in his Goju Ryu style. In essence, these two martial arts maestros were all about balance, harmony and the perfect blend of mental focus, physical prowess and spiritual enlightenment. So whether you're practicing karate or juggling life's many challenges, remember it's all about finding that sweet spot where mind, body and spirit come together like an expertly executed shuto. Speaking of harmony, did you know that playing the harmonica can improve your breathing for karate? Don't believe me? Try it out! B okay. Funakoshi and Miyagi were like those teachers who reminded you that a solid foundation is essential for success in any discipline, especially karate. They believed that if you tried to pull off advanced moves without nailing the basics, you'd be like a toddler trying to run before learning to walk. It just wouldn't work out. Both karate maestros stressed the importance of repetition and truly grasping the underlying principles behind each technique, like peeling back the layers of an onion, only to find more layers, but eventually you'll uncover the core and possibly shed a tear or two along the way. Funakoshi, with his thoughtful approach to karate, once wrote, there is no end to the study of karate. He was onto something. The journey of learning karate is a never-ending staircase where each step takes you closer to mastery, yet there's always more to discover. So when it comes to honing your skills in this revered martial art, the basics are your trusted building blocks. Embrace the fundamentals and you'll find yourself on the path to karate success. And who knows, you might even have a bit of fun while you're at it. You know what they say, practice makes perfect, or in our case, Practice makes us slightly less likely to fall flat on our faces while performing a high kick. Both grandmasters, Funakoshi and Miyagi, were like the ultimate karate etiquette police, placing a strong emphasis on the role of manners and humility in their beloved martial art. Funakoshi, ever the gentleman, placed karate begins and ends with a bow as the first of his precepts, 
It's as if he wanted to remind everyone that please and thank you are just as important as a killer front kick. But the Grandmaster's wisdom didn't stop there. Funakoshi also believed in avoiding arrogance and embracing humility, stating there is no first attack in karate. In a world where everybody's flexing their muscles and showing off their skills, these karate legends remind us that true mastery lies in respecting others, being humble and keeping a level head even when you can break a stack of boards with a single punch. Funakoshi and Miyagi embrace the idea that their martial arts should adapt and evolve over time, kind of like how your own grandparents might have ditched their landlines for smartphones. Funakoshi's Shodokan style is a blend of the Okinawan styles Shorei Ryu and Shorin Ryu, proving that he was all about mixing things up and creating a karate cocktail that would shake the martial arts world. Meanwhile, Miyagi's Goji Ryu was influenced by his training with Higaona Kanryu in Nahate. Remember the style that infused Okinawan te with Chinese martial arts. These masters understood that being rigid and inflexible in their approach would only hinder the growth and development of their beloved martial arts. In conclusion, we've just taken a whirlwind tour through the awe-inspiring philosophies of karate legends Funakoshi Gichin and Miyagi Chojun. It's been a wild ride, covering everything from their emphasis on enjoying the scenic route, finding the perfect mind-body-spirit trifecta, acing the fundamentals, no skipping leg day here, practicing manners fit for royalty, and being as adaptable as a bendy straw in a hurricane. As we continue our own martial arts journey, whether we're white belts just starting out or black belts with years of experience, let's take these valuable lessons to heart. We can't all be the karate kid or have a Mr. Miyagi as our sensei, but we can strive to live by the principles these grandmasters held so dear. So the next time you're at the dojo or practicing your punches in your living room, remember the wise teachings of Funakoshi and Miyagi. Embrace the journey, find your inner Zen, master those basics like a boss, mind your P's and Q's, and be as adaptable as a cat on a skateboard. With their philosophies in our corner, we'll be well on our way to becoming the best martial artists we can be and having a blast while we're at it. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching.